Hey everyone, welcome back to Honest Try TV. This is Jason and Nicole's foot. <laughs> and today we're going to review, unbox the, um, what is this called? Kizik. Kizik? Shoes. We got actually the same pairs, two of them, uh, different sizes, because we weren't 100% sure. We weren't sure which one would actually fit. So it looks like we this one is the seven point seven and a half. And that's the eight. So let's open them up. They should be the same color style. This is the one with the what is it called? Cairo Bahama. Cairo Bahama. And the same thing as well. Yeah. It's just the different sizes. So let's see how these oh, go. They're unisex. So men could wear these also. Cool. All right. Let's uh, let's test out the smaller one first. I guess a seven and a half, mm -hmm. and then we'll see it out. Okay. So, opening it up. So the reason why we even got these shoes, because I have shoes, tennis shoes, but um, oh, this is interesting, Jason. What? This might have been a return. So this is one of those boxes that you can reseal and return. Oh. You see what I'm saying? Oh. It was. It might have been a return. You're saying? Yeah. Oh, maybe. Not. It's popping open. You see, you can... No, it hasn't been no, used. It hasn't been used. It hasn't been no. used. Well, okay. the lower one is used. Well, I think that's the original one to but close it. Look at the other box. Yeah, it's, it's sticky as well. Oh, okay. I love how. So we noticed this on another brand as well. The box is set up for easy return where you can just remove this strap, reseal it, and drop it off at a shipping store, and they'll send it back for you free of charge. But the reason why we got Kizix, their whole spiel is the no time, no pulling, no heel crushing, no hands. And with me being nine months pregnant now, uh, as of today, yay! Um, I, I can't talk. <laughs> I can't breathe. I can't put on my shoes anymore. Um, it's really hard. Normally to put on shoes, I have to do like the old man's sit. And then, you know, I'm over here struggling and it's really hard for me because I'm like trying to like lace them up over here and my stomach's all in the way. So, and I'm out of breath, as you can see. Like just sitting down talking, I'm out of breath. So usually Jason has to come and help me. And then it's a struggle, you know, as we try to slide my foot into the shoe and it's just wrong. So um, hopefully if these guys live up to the hype and the advertising, they should be super easy for me to put on, which is going to be greatly appreciated as I get ready to head to the hospital. Yeah, so let's pop them out and hopefully, because I was getting advertisement all over the place about regular people and pregnant people just slipping them on and nice and easy. Let's yeah. see if that holds up. We'll see. Ooh, fancy colorings. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It looks like a pink with a blue turquoise and what is that, like a Royal Navy maybe? Mm -hmm. Well, there you go, hon. Yeah, look, look at the little spring here. Yeah, Ooh, it's tough. Spring heel. All right, well, let's, let's check it out. Uh, you want to? Take, take out the ins the guts, the inside. So I shouldn't have to touch this, right? Because this is just for like fashion or show. The tongue, I don't know if the tongue is even real. Or do I have to take it out? Mm. Pop it out, muscles. <sighs> okay, that's it. Nice. How's it look in there? Um... Clean. Cool. This is like not a real tongue. Oh, it's like one unit all together as yeah, one? Yeah, it's all one unit, but it looks like a regular shoe, but really, supposedly, this is just for fashion. Oh, okay. Let's, so. let me get, let's get the other one out, both at the same time, or you just want to try one? I'll try one. Then. Okay, this is one sitting down, right? Here, let me get let me get a side angle of you slipping it on, if it works that way. Go <laughs> ahead. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, Kizik, show me the... Oh, wow. Oh wow. Pop it off now with your other foot. Uh, Do it again. <laughs> so much of a foot fetish. 
wish. Hey. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> All right, now question. Does it feel snug? Like, or do you feel like it's going to pop out? No, it feels really snug, actually. Like too snug? You might have to go to a size eight? Not like squeezing. Well, that's what I'm feeling for, but I'm feeling so snugness. I'm more or less evaluating the snugness around here mm, yeah. to determine whether or not I'm going to pop out. And this is definitely feeling secure. Now, as for the snugness around here, on my toes, to determine whether or not the shoe itself is too small, I get a walk. Okay. But I do feel like I'm kind of at the end, though. Why don't you uh, see if you can pull the uh, strings, unlace them, and then lace them a little tighter if you need. Mm. Can you unlace them? Is it possible to unlace them? Let's see. Okay, so they are actually... Yes, one can. Okay, cool. Because, you know, sometimes they just put a lace and they like, glue it down so then it just looks like... Yeah, but I, I mean, I don't think I need it tighter. Okay. It's not too big, that's for sure. Um, so this is the struggle. This is the struggle of pregnant woman trying to tie her shoe. I, bending over is not an option. <laughs> not an option. So this is me trying to do it from the side as best I can. Um, and, you know, it's doable, but it takes me a while. All right, let's get your other shoe, shoe out, and we're going to test it out again. We're going to do both of them as she's sitting down. And then we'll test it her as she's vertical standing up and see how easy it is to pop them Sounds in. Sounds good. All right. Hand me the other. All right, so we got both shoes out. This is the seven and a half, and Nicole is sitting down as she's putting them on. Ooh, look at that. All right, pop them out, and now we're going to have you standing up. So I don't want to use uh, the toe to do that because um, you know, I don't want to. It's one thing if you're using like your socked foot, but I wouldn't use. And, and Nicole's using a, a thinner sock too. Yeah, it's I do a, have on thin, super thin socks. Yeah, you can see, kind of see my finger through it. So it's not like a thick wool or anything like that. Yeah. So do you think it would be harder with a thicker sock? For sure. Okay. I don't think they would even fit. One. I wore like my super thick like winter, winter socks. Let's get you vertical and see. If you can slide in them just as easy if you're walking up to it. Okay, you ready? Yeah, go ahead. It's pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty you, awesome. You think it holds up? Uh, you know, as they're advertising? Um, for sure. They're definitely easy to put on and take off. Um, but I do feel like the the shoe itself is too small. Too small. Okay. So yeah. we want to try an eight. I am not a seven and a half. All right, let's pop these out and we'll get the eights out. Okay. So we're back. We got the eights out now on the ground there for Nicole. She's going to slip them on as she's vertical. And go ahead, hon. Ooh. Definitely easy to put. I'm not going to lie. This is pretty amazing. Ah, uh, the no struggle. Oh, yeah, they're definitely more comfortable for sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm an Does it, they, do the ankles feel loose? No. The ankles still feel very secure. Um, but I'm definitely an eight. So I'm going to okay. go for a stroll and double, triple check. Yeah. They're very comfortable. They have a nice arch support. Um, I don't have high arches, but I do appreciate arch support now that I'm, now that I've gained almost 50 pounds in the last nine months, um, or eight full months. So yeah, this is nice. My ankles feel supported. Um, which is another thing, having put on all this weight all of a sudden, like going from 105 to 148. Ooh, you a big girl. <laughs> um, my ankles pop a lot. Like my body's just not used to carrying, you know, carrying all this. So it's been really rough on my ankles. So I hear them cracking and stuff um, as I walk and get up from places. So they feel very well supported. And the shoe, yeah, eight is definitely my my size. It's not super squishy inside, which I appreciate. Um, and there's there's a cute cute look to it. It looks good. I think yeah, it looks great. It looks really cute. Like I'm liking it. Yeah, and shipping didn't take that long. It took about I think four to five days to get to us. Mm -hmm. Well, for the ones that had in stock, at least. My only concern is that because it is like a knitted cloth, 
um, you're not going to be able to wear these in the rain. So um, what would be awesome, Kizik? This is not a sponsored video, by the way, everybody. This is an honest try review, meaning we're going to be honest. Um, what would be nice, Kizik, is if you would team up with someone who produces a waterproof fabric and consider doing a waterproof version of this. That would be cool. That would be really, really nice. Um, but right now, that's my only kind of drawback. And there's enough of a platform at the bottom. It's not like you're going to, you know, step in every rain puddle and get wet. But they are cloth, you know. So just bear that in mind. Other than that, um, I'm going to do one more stroll down the street. But, yeah, I'm liking these. I'm not... You slipping and sliding? I'm not slipping and sliding around the house, no. Um, they are fairly smooth on the bottom, so it's not like there's a huge amount of resistance, but I'm not unsteady on these hardwood floors. Not that we wear shoes in this house, but just saying. Um, on smooth surfaces, there's not a huge amount of resistance, not a huge amount, but it's not like you're walking on glass either, or on ice. So yeah. Overall, I like them. I think I'll keep these eights. We're going to return the seven and a halves. Um, it's free return. Yep. So uh, no obligation to keep them. And yeah, to remove, I would take off one with my hand and then just use my foot for the other. You're just trying to take so care of them. So that I, uh, yeah, take care of them. I don't want to scuff them up. But yeah, very impressed. Yeah, and when we went to the website, actually, again, not sponsored, but... We went to our website and we got a 15% a discount, like pop up immediately come up, mm -hmm. which was really nice. Helped out overall. So we did get that 15% off. Order two, two pairs, same style, different sizes, just to be safe. Glad we did that. Are you normally an eight or seven and a half? It really depends on the shoe. Because like, for example, I have this pair of Birkenstocks over here and I'm a size 38, which is like a US size eight, um, but it kind of just depends on the shoe. It mm. also depends on pregnancy, because pregnancy causes your body to swell um, as you retain water weight and other things. So being nine months pregnant, um, there's some changes there that have to be taken into consideration also. Now, would you recommend these <laughs> shoes for pregnant women? Heck yeah, I mean, this is, this is great. Like, Woo, look at that. This is great. That's, 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 that's legit. <laughs> Too legit to quit. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this for pregnant women who don't necessarily want to wear slides like my Birkenstocks over here. Like you want to put on an actual shoe and not a flat or a slide. Um, but you, it's tiring. It's tiring. <laughs> Sitting down trying to string up and, and put on your tennis shoes, it gets exhausting. Um, and then, you know, struggling to get your finger in here and pull up the back and da da da, -da. Mm. It's exhausting. Struggle's um, real. So, yeah, I really, I like these. I look forward to rocking them. And, yeah, I would recommend them for, you know, pregnant women in their third trimester who are, you know, trying to navigate around their very large bellies. How does your arch feel? Very well supported. Snaps. All right. Awesome. Well, well there you go. Yep. That's our review and unboxing. Yep. So we're going to the... keep these eights. Yep. Return the seven and halves. And that'll be it. Nice. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Again, this was Jason Nicole with Honest Try TV. Give us a like. Subscribe and we'll bring you guys some more Leave comments down below. Bring you guys some more uh, videos. Yep, and we'll see you on another episode of Honest Try TV. Bye, guys.